It can mean the difference between sleeping comfortably and a sticky, sweaty night. It's responsible for many of our winter mornings spent scraping ice from our windshields, and it can even put us at risk of heat stroke on hot summer days. But what exactly is humidity? Simply put, humidity is the moisture content of the air, and there are two common ways that we look at it, dew point and relative humidity. The dew point is the temperature where water begins to condense out of the air. The closer the air temperature is to the dew point, the closer the air is to being saturated. If the two numbers are far apart, it will feel dry. If they're close, it will feel humid. Relative humidity, on the other hand, is the amount of water the air is currently holding, expressed as a percentage of exactly how much it can hold at a specific temperature. Simply with one number, we can gauge the drying ability of the air. You've probably heard the saying, it's not the heat, it's the humidity. Knowing the dew point and the relative humidity becomes very important to our comfort during hot weather. For this reason, Canada's Humidex and the US Heat Index were created to combine temperature and humidity into just one number, which can tell us when we are at greatest risk from heat stress. For an idea of just how dry it can get, most deserts range from about 10% to about 30% relative humidity. On June 27, 2011, however, the city of Las Vegas recorded an afternoon air temperature of 42 degrees Celsius, while the dew point was minus 30. That's a 72 degree dew point depression which comes out to less than 1% relative humidity. When it comes to the limits of heat and humidity though, consider Mexico's crystal caves. It's so warm and humid there, the dew point is right around the average body temperature. So anyone visiting needs to wear special equipment or they'd drown as the water vapor in the air condensed out to fill their lungs. Next up, I'll be looking at pressure. High pressure, low pressure, what does that all mean for weather? Find out in episode five as we all become a bit more weather wise.